Let's use the equation of an ellipse to model uh, a bridge. In this case, we're told that we have the upper half of an elliptical bridge, uh, or the, uh, the upper half of an ellipse forms a bridge right here. So they must be talking about something like this. And they ask us to, uh, well, they give us a, few inf a piece of information about the ellipse, how long the bridge is, and also how high the bridge is above the water. And using that information, they ask us to write an equation for this upper half of the ellipse. So this is actually really not that hard to do if we're careful about where we decide to place the ellipse on a coordinate grid. And so let's go ahead and make maybe a rough sketch of what's going on here. So I'm going to say that that's my x and y axis and then let's say that the upper half of the bridge represents um, this part of the ellipse right here so I'm gonna choose to make the center then if I graph the full ellipse the center would be at 0 0 and I would make sure that the major axis is along the x-axis so let's uh, add some information to this and we'll see that this is actually not a very difficult problem at all um, they tell me that the entire length of the bridge from end to end is 30 feet so this distance right here is going to be 30 well because I was careful about where I placed that bridge, I should be able to tell that each piece right here, the semi-major axis, is going to be a distance of 15, which really corresponds to an A value in terms of an ellipse. Uh, they also tell me that the height of the bridge above the water, so this distance right here, the height above the water is 10, and so that corresponds to the B value, uh, which in this case is going to be 10. So using uh, those A and B values right there and the center at 0, 0, I can make the equation of this ellipse. So I'll start with just x squared. I don't need to worry about the center because the center is at 0, 0. So x squared plus y squared to start out. Uh, I'm always equal to 1 in the standard form of an ellipse. And then all I have to plop into this equation are the a squared and b squared values, which I already know the a and the b, so it's just a matter of getting these in the right place. Since uh, I have a horizontal ellipse, I'm uh, longer, I'm more stretched out in the x direction, the larger number, the a value, is going to go underneath the x. So I'm going to have 15 squared underneath the x. Since that's sort of, I think of it as sort of the long radius, that's the way I think of it. Uh, the B value then, which is sort of like the short radius, since that goes in the vertical direction, that will go under the Y. So B squared or 10 squared under the, the uh, Y squared value. From here, I guess let's just clean this up a little bit and uh, simplify a little bit, I suppose. So X squared over 225, if I square 15, plus Y squared over 100 equals one would be a way to describe the equation of this at least upper half of an ellipse that represents the bridge.